Hey guys, welcome back to Adobe's Learn from the Pro series. My name is Kevin De La Serna, and I'm a video creator based in Cebu, Philippines. So for our fourth video, I'll be teaching you how to deliver high quality content with professional polish using motion graphics templates in Premiere Pro. And without wasting any more time, let's go to Premiere Pro and let's start editing. So first let's go to After Effects, then let's create a new composition. Let's set the preset to UHD 4K, then let's name the composition to Text Animation. Once you're done, select the Rectangle tool, then click and drag to create a rectangle. After this, select the text tool, then just click to create a new text. I'm gonna be using my name for now, and now it's time to animate the text. First, just click and hold the spiral icon, then drop it on our text layer. This basically makes the text layer as the parent of our shape, so whatever adjustments we make to the text, the shape would also be affected. Now let's change the position of our text by going to transform, then click on position. Let's just move the text here, and now it's time to animate. All we have to do is to drag our playhead to the 10th frame, then click this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Once you're done, move the playhead back to the starting point, and again, click position, then hold shift on your keyboard while moving the text to the left. And now you just made your first text animation. Now let's try to smoothen this animation by right-clicking on the second keyframe, go to keyframe assistant, then select easy ease in. And once you're done, right-click on the first keyframe, again, go to keyframe assistant, then select easy ease out. And now we have a smoother text animation. Now let's not stop there and let's try to improve this animation more by selecting the two keyframes, then clicking this icon to go to the graph editor. Click this icon and make sure to select edit speed graph. And now let's try to modify the velocity of the keyframes. All we have to do is to press the second keyframe, then hold shift on your keyboard while clicking and dragging this lever to the left. As you guys can see on the graph, you can basically see the speed of the animation from going to fast from the top of the graph, then slows down gradually at the end of the second keyframe. This overall just smoothens the animation even more, and now that we're done with the intro animation, let's now proceed to the outro animation. So first, let's move our playhead to the 20th frame, then click this icon to create a new keyframe. Once you're done, move your playhead to the right, then again hold shift on your keyboard, then click and drag the text to the left. Now select the last keyframe, then press shift F9 on your keyboard to convert the keyframe to easy ease out, and next select the first keyframe, then press ctrl shift F9 on your keyboard to convert the keyframe to easy ease in. Then let's go back to the graph editor. Now the only thing that we have to do is to press on the first keyframe, then again hold shift on your keyboard, then click and drag this lever to the right. And we're done. This is basically the ending part of our text animation where the text moves out to the frame. And now you have successfully created your first text animation. Don't forget to click this icon on the text layer and the shape layer to add motion blur. Then let's go to composition, select responsive design time, then press create intro. Once you're done, go to Composition again, select Responsive Design Time, then press Create Outro. What Responsive Design Time basically does is it creates an intro and outro for our text animation. So when we go to Premiere Pro, we can easily adjust the duration of the text without disrupting our text animation. Now in order for us to make our text editable in Premiere Pro, let's go to Window, then select Essential Graphics. Let's set the primary composition to text animation. Now let's name this text animation tutorial. Now all we have to do is to go to our text layer, Click on text, then drag and drop source text to our essential graphics panel. Let's rename this to text, then click on edit properties, then enable all checkboxes. Now this is where we could basically edit the font, the style, the size, and of course the fox style. Once you're done, let's go to effects and presets, then search for fill. Drag and drop this to our text layer, and this basically gives us the ability to change the text color. Now let's just change the color back to white, then again let's go back to effects and presets, then drag and drop fill to our shape layer. Again, let's change back the color to black. Now all we have to do is to go to the text layer, click effects, fill, then drag and drop color to the essential graphics panel. Let's rename this to text color. Now let's do the same thing with our shape layer by going to effects, fill, and again drag and drop color to the essential graphics panel. Let's rename this to box color. Now all we have to do is to click export motion graphics template, and of course save the project first, then set the destination to local templates folder. And make sure to enable both of the compatibility checkboxes. This will warn you if the motion graphics template uses fonts that are not available from Adobe Fonts and if After Effects needs to be installed to customize the template. Once you're done, just click OK. You will get a dialog box saying one font was not synced from Adobe and that the template will be marked as requiring fonts that are not available from Adobe. This would be fine as I already have the font installed and we can easily change the font anyway in the Essential Graphics panel. Just click OK. And now we have successfully exported our motion graphics template. All we have to do now is to go to Premiere Pro. Make sure you have your Essential Graphics panel open by going to Window, then select Essential Graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, just click Browse, 
And now we can see our motion graphics template. All we have to do now is to drag and drop this to our timeline and you're done. Now the great thing about this is we can easily change the duration of our text animation because we already have set the intro and outro using responsive design time in After Effects. Now we can also edit the text in our essential graphics panel. Let's try to change the text to like and follow as well as adjust the text size. Let's also try to change the box color, change it to white, and we're done. We can also change the text color. Let's set it to black. And now you know how to create your own text animations in Adobe After Effects, as well as how to use them in Premiere Pro. I use this method all the time, and it just enables me to create high quality content with professional polish in Premiere Pro. And that wraps up our fourth video in this series. If you made it till the end of this video, comment down below your favorite tip and make sure to drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for our last episode as I'll be teaching you how to show off polished, custom branded presentations to showcase your work with Frame.io presentations. Don't forget to create more, and I'll see you in the next one. Paalam!